Okay guys, I know a lot of people like to use text effects to enhance the quality of their videos. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this awesome Banty K transition effect that you just saw in the beginning of this video. So with that being said, let's just jump right into Resolve. <coughs> Alright guys, so this is a pretty simple and basic effect, but this will enhance the quality of the videos that you produce like so much so let's just start out open the media pool and the effects library so these are the clips that we want to use like this is a clip from iceland and this is a clip from a volcano and we want to transition from this clip to that clip and what we notice at first is that this is zooming out and that is going straight forward and we want to make a zoom transition through the text so this would probably not fit if this is zooming out so let's just reverse the segment so let's hit ctrl r or command r if you're on the mac and the retime controls will open up and let's just click this drop down arrow next to the 100 percent and reverse the segment so now once this is done we can hit ctrl or command r again to close this and what this does is it reverses the clip so now where most of the magic happens is with the text effects tool so now let's open up the effects library Go to titles and choose this text plus effect and just drag it above your first clip. Now let's make it as long as you want and then highlight it and then open up the inspector in the top right corner. Open this up and then call it whatever you want. For me it's just Iceland. So then choose a font that you like. Montserrat will do the job and then change it to bald. So now we can go to shading, scroll a little bit down until you see properties and there is blending, composite and type solid. So what we want to do now is click on solid and the drop down opens and then click on image. And once you've clicked on image, a few more controls pop up. So now go to image source, which is below type, click on it and then change this from tool to clip. And then another window opens and this browse button opens up. So let's just click this browse button and choose an image that you like. So for me, it's this volcano image. And now once you've done that, this image will show up in your text. So now we can go back to text and increase the size. And you know, the image is now in your text and this just gives it such a nice effect. So now we gotta make the transition. And to do that, we gotta move this text and the first video clip up. So we can place the second video clip below our text effect and our first video clip. So now once you've done that, this should look something like this. You get your text effect on video clip three. You get your first video clip on video layer two, and then you get your third video clip on video layer one. So now let's move the playhead to the start of the second clip and then just cut the text and the first clip and then move it to the end of the text and the first clip and just cut the second clip once again. And now you've got three clips with the same length and now highlight them all and right click and click new fusion clip. So now the next step is to highlight our fusion composition with the playhead over it and then click on the fusion page and now by default the fusion page come up with media in one media in two and media in three and two merge nodes so now let's just delete those merge nodes and deconnect this and now to stay organized we gotta rename the media in one media in two and media in three so we know what we're working on so now let's click on media in one and hit one on your keyboard so we see that this is the clip that we want to transition to hit f2 to rename it and call this volcano now go to media in two hit two on your keyboard so this comes up in the second viewer and then let's just call this drone hit ok and now click on media in three and hit one on your keyboard. So this comes up in the first viewer and let's just rename this to text. As always guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any upcoming DaVinci Resolve content. But for now, let's get back to Fusion. So now let's just rearrange them like that. And we know we gotta merge the text and the drone clip together. So let's do that. So now grab another merge. And now we want to connect the merge one to the 
green arrow and the volcano to the yellow arrow. And now let's connect the output of merge two to the input of media out and just click on media out and hit two on your keyboard. So the media out comes up in the second viewer. Probably we're almost done. Now click on merge one and click on one on your keyboard. So this comes up and now we get a mask out a portion of this text effects. We can either use this D or the A part. So now let's click on this drone media in and select the polygon tool. And now we got to invert the polygon tool so we can actually see what we're working on. And now let's just zoom in and let's say we choose this A. Now just mask out the portion of the letter A and you see this becomes transparent. So we can zoom out right now, but we don't want to see the volcano clip like right at the beginning. So let's go to frame zero, keyframe the size of this polygon one on frame zero and drag it all the way down to zero. Now let's go to frame, let's say frame 50 and on frame 50, or let's go to frame 45 and then keyframe this once again at zero and then go to frame 50 and keyframe it back on one. So now we can see it. And now that we see this Volcano clip in the media out viewer, we have to make our transition. So let's move Volcano and Merge 2 just a little bit out of the way. Go to Merge 1 and add a transform node. So with this transform node selected, we can create this zoom transform effect. So all we have to do is keyframe the size and the center on frame 50 and go forward maybe 40 frames or so and then go to size and type in 50. Now, if you typed in 50, let's reduce the size just a little bit and recenter our image like that and then increase the size once again, recenter the image and increase the size once again, recenter the image, increase the size once again, recenter the image, increase the size once again and recenter the image once again and we gotta resize it. Let's make it 70 then and recenter still not enough go to 80 then and resize it once again and now we can clearly see the second clip and now we gotta open up our spline window go to transform and then just deselect everything except size go to this zoom to fit highlight everything and click on f to make this flatten out at the end and then go to displacement uncheck size zoom to fit and then make this flatten out as well so once this is done you've pretty much achieved the transition so let's go back to the edit page and let this render out i show you what this looks like in a second so now it is rendered and here is the final transition So this looks pretty good, but we can still add motion blur. So let's hover over the fusion composition once again, click on the fusion page, go to the transform node, go to settings and then check motion blur and then maybe increase this to four. All right, let's go back to the edit page. Let's render this out once again. And I'll show you what this looks like with motion blur on. So now this is what the transition looks like with motion blur checked on. Alright guys, that is all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. But also let me know in the comments down below on what effect or transition you want me to cover in the future. So with that being said, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.